although the children are often abused and neglected, there is a lot of pain there. And someone had to lose for me to win. Mm-hmm. For me to become an adoptive parent, someone had to lose. A grandparent is never going to walk their ch- uh, grandchild to school. A cousin is never going to be able to, you know, mock their cousin at a wedding. So there's a lot of loss there. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to, like, denigrate that because f- obviously for those birth parents... It's a trauma that reoccurs every year. Mm-hmm. You know, when they're writing that letter, that's a reminder. And on the birthday as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, birthdays, Christmas. So <coughs> although, obviously, they the, the children that come to be adopted have been neglected, there's also, um, you know, it's, not, it's like a zero-sum game. Like, there's no, there's no winner. You, do, you, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's a it's a loss for the birth parent and also as well the birth father who might not even have a say. You mm. imagine you you find out after your child's been adopted that they've been adopted and you are never going to get to see that child again. Mm. And, and would you say that's the normal? Or would you say most of the time the birth father just doesn't? Want I, to I I I think uh, I think often what happens is the birth mothers don't want to say who the birth fathers are mm-hmm. yeah. because it's. One thing for someone else to look after your child who you're never going to meet, who you're never going to know, but to have the birth father possibly having complete custody over that child, it, I think that's just too painful. That's actually... What, for the mother? Yeah. That's actually a bit twisted though, isn't it, really? Yeah. If you think about it, it's like, oh, it's almost like, oh, I can't have you so no one else will. Yeah. Well, I'd rather someone, a complete stranger, have you then... Yeah, that's not. Yeah, that's quite very extremely selfish. But I but guess yeah, I, I guess we're looking at it from pe- from a point of view of people who are thinking straight. We're not looking at it from a point of view of who someone who's been maybe sexual the whole life, who is mm. uh, prostituting themselves, who is um, selling drugs, who has got a very disordered life, who's got severe mental health problems. So we're expecting we're expecting someone who is experiencing trauma to be thinking logically. But just to add a caveat, that's you got my brain thinking as well. You talked about prostitution. I would kind of get it from the, the prostitute's perspective in the sense of, oh, wait, hold on. I'm walking the street corners and one of my clients has got me pregnant. I don't want the kind of man that would actually pay for my services to be looking after my child as well. I think a lot of times it'd be the pimp and they think they love them. Mm. Mm. Even then, even the pimp, like, do you really want a pimp to be the one raising? But again, are you th- are you thinking in a cognitive, yeah. like, on a logical level? And they 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 genuinely think those men love them. They th- they think mm. they. they yeah, but that's a good pimp, though. Like, yeah. like objectively speaking, not saying that pimping's good, <laughs> <laughs> but that's yeah. pimping properly. It's when when you get, for instance, mothers who have taken up with men who are um, pedophiles, God. and social services ask them make a choice and for a lot of people they just can't understand why the mother makes a choice for the man but in her view she might have a chance to get her child back if she gets rid of the man she will never be able to find someone who loves her like that again and it is twisted logic but that's do you see what I mean for someone who's it's twisted but it, it makes sense yeah it's not it's not irrational yeah it's just weird yeah, and 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 that that's who you work with people, women mainly, who are severely traumatized. So, I, you know, I don't want to seem like I'm just, we're just out here like God. Oh, yeah, bashing. Parents, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah parents yeah. are terrible because some of the stories and the life experience some of the birth mothers have had and birth fathers as well. I don't know if I would be any different in my capabilities to raise a child <laughs> because they have they just haven't got the tools. Mm.